Hey guys, FafaFan100 here. Now, you may be asking yourself, why have I not uploaded it in like a month? And why am I using this Mario plush in order to talk to you in this video? Well, you see, here's the thing. I went to go try out Vion, and honestly, there were two things. A, I didn't really like how the system operated. I mean, it mostly handled the same way as uh, Go Anime, but there were some things that just really annoyed me, like, for example, lack of text boxes. But the major thing that really stirred me off of Vion was the pricing of it. I mean, seriously, they want me to pay $700 for a year when I could have gotten the rest of like, Go Anime for schools uh, for life for $400. Yeah, it, I didn't really like it. So, as of right now, I honestly feel like, though, the whole go animate scene for me is kind of running low due to this whole scenario that's going on and unfortunately as as, fortu as unfortunate as it may seem go animate probably dead for me because i won't be able to upload videos and Vion's a piece of trash site so i won't be able to do that anymore yep unfortunately however Due to the fact that I'm using this plush Mario, you can probably already tell where this is, where this is kind of going. I am going to be doing something I've wanted to be doing for a long time now. And that's I'm going to be starting to make a plush channel. Kind of like LuigiFan00001 and SML. Um, There's definitely going to be a lot of more interesting ideas coming from this one. Considering I can make my characters do a lot more. And, I mean, sure, GoAnime has better, like... Uh, backgrounds and stuff, but at least I can make my guys fight and stuff, and then wouldn't make it just look like crappy. If you know what I mean. And, well, uh, I'd like to introduce you to some of the characters that you will be seeing throughout this, uh, my new Plus channel. So, well, let's take a look at them. So, here you can see, this is the majority of the major characters that I'm going to be using for my show. You see, there's, you can see a lot of faces that you'll remember from the Go animate videos. Also, some new faces. Uh, let's go in order. So, as some, we see, we have some people like we have Parasol Zombie. Uh, this new character, uh, Stormblade from Skylanders. Yeah, I'm interested to have her in the videos. Uh, the Squid Sisters, you know them. Uh, this is Glaceon. Uh, she's definitely one of the major characters of the new series that I'm gonna be filming. Pro personally, one of my favorite plushes. We got Scar's Bullboard in the back there. It's a really stupid guy, but he's new. And then, okay, and he's personally another one of my favorites. Then we got Coney and Newspaper. You remember Newspaper from Enemy Elimination Season 2? Coney was kind of a background character at times, but he was basically just the Conehead Zombie guy. We got Boom Boom, Iggy. Uh, here we have two interesting cases. We have a Boomer Bro and a we have a Boomerang Bro and a Hammer Bro. The Boomerang Bro is actually, he's, got, he's a guy called Cedric. He's heavy Australian because Boomerang, Australian crap. And, and Army Hammer Bro is just normal Hammer Bro because there's no Army Hammer Bro plush. We got Bowser, Dark Matter Dragon Fruit. This is Bonnie Ann over here. She's a, one of the major uh, heroes of Pirate 101, but I don't really like that game, so we don't talk about much about that. But she's a good character. We have the Janet Bastion Maces, Solar Flare, and Green Shadow. Petey, of course. Petey's one of the be better characters on our show, and he's one of my favorites. Uh, Vividria returns. A uh, little again fell over, but there she is. Uh, Susie, and a total of like three major of the Octolings. Uh, we, had to, we had the normal Octoling, who is uh, Sabrina from Men in the Elimination Season 2. And we have a sanitized Octoling from. Uh, the Octo expansion called Octavia. I know, really, a real original, right? Also, we have this one right here, this pink one. We have this as uh, the Octo Link Sally because we also like to create our own characters here sometimes. And uh, the Octo Links are kind of easy to do because, well, Splatoon was kind of a lot of customization. There aren't really any inklings, though. But Octo Links are better, anyways. And, well, there you go. These are some of the major characters that you'll be seeing on, the vid on my uh, vid plush videos. Now again, let's talk about the series. So, all these characters I just showed you, major series that we're going to be having on this channel is called Bowser's Minions. It's a simple enough premise, Bowser and his minions just going through random days, dealing with each other, and heroes at that fact. Some heroes will actually be in the castle at all times, like Solar Flare and Green Shadow, due to the fact that they are good friends with Petey, Flare still being Petey's girlfriend, so we're keeping that in for sure. But, I mean, really, I just let do it because it's adds some interesting people in that I think that you guys will like. Uh, especially some, like, we got more Skylanders peoples than on the Yo Anime channel, which I really like. And this is honestly just going to give me an interesting 
experience because I'm this is gonna be kind of a com combination of super plush Mario from the Ouija fan and at the same time uh Super Mario Logan simple like junior stuff where it's simply just a simple episode however not of course like mostly everything that I have done not everything is simple as uh oh we're gonna have a good old time don't you say yeah there will be, of course, be villains. Heck, this series has a lot of villains, despite the fact that this series is mostly about villains. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> Anyways, some of the villains you could kind of expect. However, our main villain is probably someone you don't know. So, we're going to show you to him. And, well, I hope you're going to be excited of who this villain is or not. If you do not know him, well, I don't know what to think. But, at the same time, if you don't, uh, well, here's a new villain to add to your rosters if you're going to make videos, if you so desire. Well, let's check it out. So, guys, the boss here or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, man, boss is over there. Be careful, though. He does not seem to be in a good mood. Quite. I would be careful. If he's not in a good mood, I do not think I hear we should be really screwed up in his mood. Pretty much, man. He's not. He's been in a crummy mood all day. Uh, I'd be careful if I were you. Ugh. He usually is in a crappy mood, if you ask me. Pretty much. But at the same time, you have nothing better to do. You have to tell him about the plan, Dave. <sighs> You're right. Boss, everything looks good. All our plans are being set into action. And the heroes look like they're going to be eliminated. But I said I didn't want them eliminated. Wait, what? I said I just wanted them to suffer. Uh, you sure, boss? I'll do that later. I have the pe I have the power to do it. I just don't feel like doing it right now. You, you sure, boss? Yeah, I'm sh I'm sure. I'm sure, Finn. Uh, besides, when have I ever not know what I've been doing? I'm the fl I'm like flipping one of Bill's top guys, and if you do not know that, I and if you do not think that I can do this, I honestly don't know what you think I can do. Can can't do. Well, I, I I'm sorry, boss. I just didn't think you would be able to pull this thing off. Yeah, get out of here, Finn. I know what I'm doing. Ah! I said go away. There. Now then, I will be going to put my plan into action. And here is our villain. Our main villain of Bowser's Minions is the Destructinator from the Fairly Odd Parents Wishology series. And you better believe I'll be one difficult villain for those heroes of defeat. Yeah, no one cares, so shut up. Fine. Oh, so we have his lackeys, because every villain has their lackeys. We have Findor, Salt, Butch, Chickadee, El Guapo, Santarana from uh, Pirate 101, and uh, we have General Supremo from Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and pretty much all the Garden Warfare uh, people, zombies, or the graveyard officer, part of the uh, Destructinator's group. Plus some other people that we just don't feel like showing yet. So, yeah. Okay, so this, is, so this is pretty much Bowser's Minions in a nutshell. But, I have another series I want to be talking about. That's going to be coming out pretty soon as well. So, let's look into that. Now then, so you know about the, you, everyone knows about the obligatory setting of, let's put these guys on an island and they'll fight for their survival. Yeah, I mean, we've seen that a lot. There's total drama, there's Toad Old Drama Island, the original Toad Old Drama Island that started this whole thing, and Total Stuff Fluffed Island that, uh, is really good. Yeah. So, what are we, what does this mean for us? Well, we're going to be starting our own thing. Considering, uh, well, uh, just called Total Stuffed Island. And we've been playing for this for a while, and well, we're ready to start this. Of course, this wouldn't be made possible without hosts, because well, the hosts are the ones who run this operation. And here they are, our two hosts, the t the Casino Titans themselves, the Devil and the King Dice. Hello, everybody, it's I, the Devil, the greatest casino person ever. Lived. <laughs> As host of the enemy of the what was it called again? Total Stuffed Island. I thought I told you this like 60 times. Whatever. I am the host of Total Stuffed Island. And I am the co-host of Stuffed Island. And thankfully I am the co-host of Stuffed Island because this guy attempts to get really crazy half the time. Ow. And so I have to usually keep him in check. But I am, we are really excited for this series to take off, because hopefully this will bring in a lot of views for us. Seeing as it's a normal setting on an island, and everyone just loves to see how that goes. Yep, there will be drama, villains, and all that good stuff. Challenges, elimination, 
everything that you would technically want from a good dr total drama ripoff. Back to you, Fawful Fan. Ah, thanks. Now, for a little bit of basic rules on the total drama, uh, or total stuffed island. Here's the thing, though. On the enemy elimination, I had you guys vote for everyone who you, or for who you want to be eliminated and to win a prize. Here's the thing, though. With this total stuff dialing, there's not going to be any prize handers or prize in general. And all the eliminations are going to be voted by the contestants. So, I'm sorry guys, but uh, I mean, this is basically about following more of a total drama setting. And, I mean, sure, enemy elimination was based on total drama, but it was more loosely just like total, dr like just some total drama reskin color thing. However, this definitely will be, well, I, I hope this series will be really fun to do as well. I hope you guys will enjoy it when it comes out. Now, let's just, I'm going to do some little final minutes, and, well, here we go. Well, yep, that's it. Well, yep, this has just been a nice little brief overview of this new channel, and honestly, I'm just really excited to get this thing started. Because this is going to be a, this is going to really test some creative potential of mine. And I just hope that this will, you guys will generally enjoy it. It's no grounded video series, but I hope it, it'll still have the same effect that you guys would watch over and over again. And if you do happen to find a good GoAnimate website that follows a similar format to the GoAnimate for Schools, I'd gladly take that because I would love to make more videos like that. I mean, I have a ton of ideas for Curve Bro, the Fawful Fan Enemy Elimination, might bring back the League of Heroes, all that good stuff. However, though, that one crappy site that Weatherstar used that was all like, Microsoft Mary and Microsoft Sam do this and get grounded. Oh! Yeah. I do not want to do that because that had like the animation budget of a spoon. And I just didn't not generally enjoy the videos that he made like that. But... If you do find something like that, I will generally be happy because I really want to make more videos like that. But, uh, even if I, you do guys find that, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of this because this is something I've always been wanting to do. Well, with that, this ends this uh, little short update. So be prepared for the Fawful Fan 100 Plus channel, which is really just going to be on the same account. But get ready for more episodes of that. As for now, this is Fawful Fan 100. Peace! Let's catch you on the new Plus channel, guys.